Hi everyone. Welcome back to Swiss Home Garden. Chitra here. In this video, we will be cooking a Sunday lunch menu. Let's begin. Usually on Sundays we do not cook Indian food it is either pizza or lasagna mostly pizza because everybody is home but on this day we had guests a couple of them were from Germany and one was from Switzerland and they like to eat Indian food because they don't get this every day so i was kind of forced to cook Indian food we will be making one pot vegetable pulao then i will also be serving this with plain basmati rice and a sweet dal and for the salad i have raw carrot salad and then also made a cake the previous day but i didn't shoot the video for that and i will also be serving it with banana and yogurt as an additional sweet dish first chop about 3 carrots into thick slices If you have been following my videos you will see that I do not prep or plan ahead of any meals I cook as it flows So after cutting and chopping the vegetables these are the things you will require 2 or 3 carrots 1 cup of frozen peas since it is winter I will be using frozen peas 1 to 2 green chilies cut into half for the seasoning you will need 3 cinnamon sticks of about 2 cm in length 4 to 5 cloves 4 whole cardamom pods 2 to 3 bay leaves 1 teaspoon of anise seed a pinch of asafoetida and also 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds you will also need 1 to 2 onions chopped finely and 2 pods of garlic and 2 tablespoons of ghee and 1 tin of coconut milk 3 cups of basmati rice wash and soak the basmati rice for about 15 minutes heat a thick bottom pan and add 2 tablespoons of ghee and add in the seasoning and temper them Next add the green chili fry it shortly so it is not too hot it depends on what kind of guests you have i had european guests they didn't want it too hot grate the ginger and add in the onions once the onions are glazed add the remaining vegetables and fry it shortly If you have some garam masala or pulao masala you could also add this at the stage I had some pulao paste this was from the Indian store it was not organic so I don't use it so often Next you add in the soaked basmati rice and fry it shortly add 1 tin of coconut milk of about 400 ml and fry the rice for 5 minutes First add the coconut milk since it is 400 ml you know exactly how much remaining water you will need so add the coconut milk and fry the rice together with the coconut milk and then add in the water for this i needed to add 4 cups of water i had 3 cups of rice so usually i add 6 cups of water since i had 2 cups of coconut milk i am adding 4 cups of water add the water and let the whole thing come to a rolling boil and then you close the lid and cook it at medium heat once the indicator starts to come up usually i cook the rice till the indicator comes to one these are typical swiss pressure cooker so there's no noise or whistle coming out of it so i wait till indicator is showing at one i reduce the heat to the minimum and cook it for a further of 7 minutes After 7 minutes switch off the heat and let it cool on its own give it a thorough mix and then add in fried cashews if you wish and 2 tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro leaves some europeans don't like the flavor of cilantro leaves so you can omit it out since i wanted to keep this warm for a long time i used our kundrikon hot pot 
Here I have grated about 5 to 6 fresh carrots after peeling them and now I will be making the seasoning. For this you will need the juice of one lemon and I will be seasoning it in a hot iron pan adding 1 teaspoon of sunflower high oleic oil, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and a pinch of asafoetida. If you wish you could also cut one chili and add to this. Add about 2 teaspoons of salt and garnish it with 1 teaspoon or so of fresh cilantro leaves. I usually add a pinch of asafoetida for all my seasonings. This gives a special flavor. Once the mustard seeds are tempered, add in the green chili and fry it well so it reduces the hotness. Mix it into the grated carrot. Next, we will be making the sweet dal. I have already pre-cooked the chana dal. I used about 2 cups of chana dal. First, add about 1 teaspoon or so of homemade ghee. For the seasoning, I am adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, a pinch of asafoetida, 1 red chilli and 1 stick of cinnamon and 2 or 3 cardamom pods. Fry it shortly and then add in the cooked dal and add a little water. For the powdered spice, add 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and since I want to make it a little bit sweet, I am going to be adding 2 or 3 tablespoons of raisins and 2 teaspoons of coconut sugar or any whole brown sugar and 2 to 3 tablespoons of desiccated coconut. At the end of the cooking process, add about 2 teaspoons of salt or as per your taste. You could also add 1 to 2 teaspoons of tomato paste for the extra sourish flavor. Now I've finished cooking everything and it's time to plate up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you could get some ideas on how to make a simple and wholesome menu for your guests. See you in my next video. Bye bye.